Hi everybody, it's Sherry Joy Collier. It is Monday night. It is a little after seven and this is my usual weekly paint and pray along. So um, before we jump into our Christmas wreath, which will be the shape of a plate, and I'm, I'm going to paint on a canvas tonight instead of in my art journal. <clears throat> and let me show you what canvas um, I'm going to paint on. This is a clean white version, and it's one of those thin ones. And whew, I don't remember the size exactly, um, but it is bigger than nine by 12 for sure. It might be like 11 by 14 maybe or something like that. Um, <clears throat> anyway, the reason why I'm not showing you this one is because this one is in the process of drying. So what I did, is I took um, Warm Buff by Apple Barrel and I just painted a background really super quick. Just a solid background of Warm Buff. And I just thought that might make the background a little warmer than just the white stark canvas. And then we're gonna paint a wreath the shape of this plate. So I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. So, hi Tanya, I see maybe you are watching. If so, how are you? Praying for you, and I'm gonna pray for everybody right now. So Father God, as we paint tonight and as we just enjoy having a little creativity and fellowship, Lord, would you bless and heal every person watching this? Would you bring your incredible peace to bear in their hearts and in their minds? And um, thank you again, Lord, for the opportunity to just have a little chance to paint and to have some fun flexing our creative muscle. Um, you are the ultimate creator and we want to praise you and honor you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so if you have a prayer request you want me to pray for, feel free to post it or put it in a private message to me. And as I said, we're going to do a Christmas wreath the shape of this little styrofoam plate. It's not little, it's it's a just kind of a regular size. Hi, Jean. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Let me pull up my uh, laptop real quick because when I move the camera, I will need to watch the uh, comments come in over there. Okay, let's get the camera up here. So hold your eyes because it's gonna be dizzying. <laughs> Okay, so let me bring it up. Okay, clicking it in. So as I mentioned, it's really, really wet. <laughs> I just painted this and I did it in Warm Buff. Warm Buff by Apple Barrel. I took a one inch brush and I just went kind of real fast. I mean, I really loaded it up and painted the whole surface. So now what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go ahead and just take my Hauser Dark Green, and I'm just gonna put a little tiny dab of the Hauser Dark Green on the um, paper towel that I have kind of off to the side. And I'm just putting a little dab because I'm gonna use the plate to trace it. Okay, now let me gra grab a little round brush. Oops, I want to get that off of there. Okay, so how's everybody doing? How was Thanksgiving? Did you eat a wonderful meal? Have people that you loved come over? Tell me about it in the comments if you want. Okay, I'm actually looking for a better brush, but I can't find one. So We'll just go ahead and dip right into that Hauser Green that's over here on my paper towel. I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna put this plate, kinda try to get it right smack in the middle there. That's about as in the middle as I can get, I think. And I'm just gonna pull that green line all the way around. And this line is just a marker for my eye so it doesn't have to be super solid just enough for me to see that it's there okay. 
and then you'll see we're going to completely cover this line up anyways. Okay, let's see here. Running out of paint. Because I had only put that very tiny little bit. <laughs> okay. And now we'll pry up my plate. Okay, so there we have just our um, rough line. It's just to kind of help give us a guide. So Jean, your family was sick, so you stayed on your own. Oh, I'm sorry. Caught up with them a few days later though. Good, yay. I'm glad you could at least catch up with them. <clears throat> okay, so first we're gonna start with our dark Hauser green. And I'm gonna go all the way around this leaf, that <laughs> leaf, wreath. And I'm going to do like football shaped leaves, um, just like this. And my, my beige underneath is still pretty wet. So I really should have taken my hair dryer to it, but I didn't. So then we'll add another football shape just a little bit above it and going inside. All right, so this is gonna be my first layer of paint and I might try to just get the shapes in first. Okay, let's do a little bit more of a football shape there. And again, it is really blending. with that buff underneath. So this is, I'm just, just really gonna get kind of a rough idea. I'm gonna just keep going here. Okay, so I'm just putting leaves in the shape of the football, inside the wreath and outside the wreath. And I'm gonna try to stagger them. Just kind of like if you were designing a wreath at home, you would kind of want to think about your composition and not have everything be just perfectly lined up. <clears throat> You want things a little bit staggered. Okay, so we're just gonna get this. <clears throat> Alrighty. And some of them are bigger than others. Some of them are a little bit different shapes, but the concept is just kind of the rough size or shape of a football. This is only our first layer of leaves, and we're gonna add <clears throat> two other types of leaves over the top of these. So hi, Christine. Good to see you here. How was Thanksgiving? Did you eat a meal and have anybody join you or how did that go? Okay, so getting in these football shapes kind of interspersed here. I was going to attempt the um, palette knife wreath that I did last year. 
Um, but I thought, no, let's stick with a brush for tonight. So maybe I will do the palette knife wreath next week. It's, it's kind of cool because it's really, uh, that palette knife gives it a very nice country chic, you know, rustic flair. Okay, so let's put a, another leaf inside of here. And we'll put a leaf here. And get that attached over here. Okay, so now I need to go back in and kind of fill in some of these that were really wet before. They're still wet. So what happened, for anybody joining late, is I had uh, painted this background before I even came on camera um, in warm buff, uh, just like a, a creamy color, creamy beige-ish color and it's still wet. So my green paint is blending and it's not looking dark green the way it um, really should be. That's why, because it's still a wet background. I may actually have to go grab my hair dryer I thought I was being really clever doing it beforehand so I didn't waste time waiting for it to dry on air, so to speak, and it didn't even dry at all. Okay, so I'm just kind of trying to darken some of these up. And then I think what I'm going to do, too, is... Stand up a minute and just look and see if I've got kind of the amount of these football shaped leaves, the, the right amount, and kind of at the right angles, and all of that good stuff. Boy, this one's still really light. Let's try to darken that one. Okay, I'm just gonna leave those the way they are. I'm gonna go ahead and add my other color to my plate. My other color here is Kelly Green. And this is gonna be a totally different type of leaf altogether. So, let's see, I think I might change Hmm, I've got to find a brush that will work for this. I might change it to this little slanted guy. And so with this Kelly Green, um, these leaves are going to be completely and totally different. So almost like a, um, oh goodness, not a fern, that's the wrong word, but it's definitely a more feathery leaf like that. So I'm just going to come in and I'll put a few of those in. Whoops. Boy, I did that wrong. My arm is tilted in a different direction. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do this side first and then kind of come in and do that other side. I'm trying to kind of get it a little bit of a different shape. So there you go. Just really quite simple. So I'm just putting a little line up there and then tilting my brush and pulling it down like that. Let's put one here. 
Okay. <clears throat> so crisscross, not really crisscross, but like that. And just bringing it all the way down to the stem. And I am trying to cover the um, brown a bit. The beige. I don't want a whole bunch of the beige showing. And I'm even letting this kind of cover over some of the football shaped leaves. Okay, let's put one. I'm gonna turn this. It is still super wet on the sides. I'm gonna turn this and I'm gonna go ahead and put one in here. So, kind of a, it's a nice little filler leaf. And I'm gonna fatten it up in some of these spots. Some of them need a little bit more something to them. So I'm trying not to be super duper, duper careful. Oops, I keep turning my brush the wrong way. <clears throat> bring that one to a little bit more of a point and bring some of these leaves out a little bit more. <clears throat> Let's put one in right here. <clears throat> so let's see. How's everybody doing? This was Cyber Monday, and I don't know about you, but I was flooded, 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 flooded with emails. And the scary thing is I wanted almost every single one that I got. <laughs> so I've subscribed myself to some very tempting companies with tempting things. Okay, let's, let's put one right here. And I'm going to make that a little bit more pointy up there. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't want one in every single nook and space, nook and cranny. But I definitely want enough of them to beef things up a bit on this wreath. Okay, I think I want one here too. And again, if you think about how you would design an actual wreath, you're gonna kind of be sticking um, greenery in at different angles, and it's not gonna be like this perfectly um, balanced thing. So let's put one up here. Okay, so there we're gonna get a nice leaf tucked in in between these. And I'm trying to kind of keep them all kind of flowing the same direction. Okay, now I'm gonna step back, st stand up and kind of just see what I have here. Mm might use a little bit of one in here. This looks a little bare to me. So we'll put a little one right here. I'm trying to do it upside down. It's totally different doing it upside down. Okay, there's one. 
Where else? Do I want to put one in here? I think I do. And maybe I'll make it one that's not so um, big and thick. So. Okay, boy, it's kind of hard to talk and paint. So, <laughs> hopefully it's not too quiet on the set. I'm going to put one in here too, but I think I'm going to make it a littler one. And I think I need a little something in here. Just a little one tucked in right there. And maybe a little one here too. And let's see, do I want any more of these? There or there. Hmm. Maybe a skinny one. Just right in here. Just a little skinny one. And that's how it would be in real life, too, is some of your leaves are going to be skinnier, even though they're the same type of leaf than others. Let's see. I think I'm going to stop there with that color. And now I'm gonna bring in a little, let's, let's pull in, what color do I wanna pull in next? You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for something kind of crazy here. Let's try a little Laguna. So I'll throw a little Laguna in. And this leaf I wanna make totally different. Um, so let's grab the round brush again, and I'll get that nice and dried off. And I'm going to come in to my Laguna, and I'm just going to see, like as I lay it over kind of the top, and it's just kind of this wild shape. Just laying it right over the top of some of these that are here. And I'm just letting it blend a little bit too. So let's pull in that Laguna. Okay, so I'm not really being too careful about the shape. I'm just trying to give an idea of the leaf. And I'm just letting it kind of mix in with, with what's already there. And I'm gonna put some up here. That one really mixed in with the green underneath so I'm gonna kind of brighten that up a bit so in a few spots I do really want it to pop I don't want it to necessarily just blend with the green underneath okay and now let's stand up and just kind of get a feel for if I like how many of those are there. And I do. I think I'm gonna stop with the Laguna. And now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do something 
just last minute that came to my mind. So I'm gonna blend some of this Kelly Green in with this Dark Hauser and just get a kind of a midway shade. Not as dark as the Dark Hauser, not as light as the Kelly Green. And I'm just gonna kind of add in a little bit of um, layering of a different color in a few spots. And it's just so that there's a little variation of the color on the leaf because no leaf is exactly like a perfect dark green or perfect all one solid color. Okay, so I've got a little bit of, whoops, I'm going to put some dark hauser back on there. And I might bring that dark hauser up to the side. This is where that buff background really kind of covered over the, or blended with the, uh, the dark. Okay, so I'm just pulling in some of that dark hauser now in a few spots to darken up some of those leaves that had blended. Dark Hauser on this one. And now I kind of want to get a, a squiggly, a few squigglies in here. And I'm kind of thinking of doing a little bit of burnt umber, just as a, like a, oh, a little sense of some twigs in and in throughout it. And let's see, I'm going to take a small brush and just like in a few spots, just kind of throw some squiggly lines. Like the leaves are being somewhat connected here. And there's some twigs in and throughout. brown somewhere in here and then I'm gonna add a little bit of brown even in a few spots like there's where these um, blank spaces are like there's twigs underneath wrapping around in the wreath just in some of those blank spaces. And let's put a couple up here. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. I will find out when I stand up and look at it from up above. Okay, let's see. So, okay, I need to check here. Okay, so let's see. 
It's a few few more spots where I might want to add just like a little bit of sprigs coming off. Okay, I think I'm calling that good for the red. Now let's bring in some red brown. Now let's bring in the red. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to pull my red on to my plate, and these are going to be holly berries. So I'm just going to grab a brush that feels, mm, let's see, that might work. I don't know. Let me try it on a, um, Oh, I got brown on my brush. I think the size is going to work good. So let me just rinse that off. I don't know why I tested it with brown. I should have tested it with red. Okay, so I'm going to grab the... Oh, you think it's nice, Jean? Okay. Here comes our holly berries. We'll see. I'm going to go one, two, three. And I'm going to kind of put them in different spots. Oh, I keep putting my brush in the brown. Ah, make it stop. Okay, maybe if I turn my plate. Okay, so we've got our red dot, dot, dot. And let's do dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. And if I want these red berries to pop a lot more. I will go in and I will layer them with another layer of paint. But for now, I'm just gonna do kind of in a few different spots there. Maybe I'll do one here. Okay, now I'm gonna stand up and see, and probably I'll come back in and really pile that red on so that the it so that it really shows up pops out but like i said i may have to wait for the paint to dry a little bit to kind of come back and make some of these red berries really pop out so yeah i'm gonna wait a little bit because a lot of the paint's just coming right through from underneath Okay, so let's stop with the berries. Now the next thing is to write the word joy. So I think I'm going to use this brush. I'm gonna get it nice and dry. And I'm gonna think about what color I want my word joy to be. And I may go ahead and just do a, a brown joy right here in the middle um, I'm trying to debate what kind of a J do I want I think I'm gonna go for this kind of a J something's not looking right Okay, and I'll put our little O right there. And then we'll pull our Y right there. And we'll put our exclamation point right here at the end. Okay, now I'm gonna grab an even smaller brush Again, let's go back to that really nice small one that I had. And just for some, some interest, I'm gonna take this Laguna Blue and I'm just gonna do three dots up there. Three dots right there. Three dots right here. 
three dots right here. Three dots right here. And I'm going to put some dots right along here. Three and one. Okay, that's it. She's done. All right, so I see one little spot where I want my brown to show up a little bit thicker on the exclamation point. So I'm just going to pull that in, and then there's a little spot right here that got a little bit light colored. So I'm just fixing that up, and then in the Y, the, the tail, just get it a little bit darker. There. That's it. Okay. So, uh, I know, Jean, that is brave of me because, believe you me, I have messed them up before big time. So I'm going to just leave this. I'm going to call it done. And as usual, I'll come back to it when it's all nice and dry. And I may add some highlights or something. We'll see. But I do want it to dry so I can get a sense of the colors and all of that. So there is our wreath. That wasn't too hard. Didn't take too long. So I would love to see you guys do your own version. And I love to see how people pick like a little bit of different colors and everything. So show me in the Creative Women Who Thrive group, you are able to upload photos and start a brand new thread in there. Um, otherwise, you'll have to private message me with it and I'll post it for you. But I would love to see all your stuff that you do. All right, let me take this down. Okay, sorry about that. I don't want to make you dizzy. But there, now you can kind of get a little bit of a different view. Okay, there. And let's show you up close. See how I just totally squiggled that Laguna Blue on there? Didn't even really give it much of a shape. Okay, so let's pull the camera back up and put that there. Okay, so I hope everybody um, will do their own version. And then when you get it all painted on your canvas, you can give it to a friend, you can hang it in your house, you can lean it against something, whatever you wanna do. So it's really kind of fun. This is a fun one. So have a wonderful week. Um, let's pray, Father God, for all the people who watch this video. I pray that you will prepare their hearts for joy this Christmas season, Lord, that no matter what circumstances are swirling around them, that your presence will just be so strong that they will have peace that passes understanding. And Lord, if there's pain in their body, Lord, I ask you to put your healing touch on them and to remove the pain, to replace it with relaxation oh, and just the ability to kind of... Um, enjoy uh, this whole month long as we think about and appreciate the fact that you stepped down out of heaven, which we can't even fathom what heaven was like, but we know, we know that it is incredibly perfect and beautiful in every way. And you stepped out of that to come down here and take on the form of this little tiny baby at first and just in these crazy surroundings in with animals and um, hay and just um, very humble. So Lord, we thank you, we praise you. We, we turn our thoughts to you at this time because we know that's how we will truly be healed is to dwell upon you. In Jesus name, amen. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Oh, glad you liked it, Tanya and Jean. And I, I want to see all yours, okay? Have a good week. Bye.